Fun Thornton Smash here, and the new collection event for Apex Legends comes out tomorrow, and a lot of us are very hyped, myself included. However, there's a couple of concerns that we need to be worried about, specifically with the quads mode just a tad, and also, it looks like there's some false bans going out, and well, there's kind of an issue with it. So we're gonna go over that as well with the cheating problem, and we're gonna go ahead and give out a lifeline prestige skin. All you guys gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, and you're entered for a chance to win, but without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and talk about the fact that tomorrow we are going to be getting the brand new quads mode coming to Apex Legends, although I do have a slight concern about it. Because it is four players and it is not solo queue, you will be able to play with three of your friends. There are going to be some interesting metas, such as the fact that this one I pointed out, where there will be the ability to do four different controller legends, which could make the game very much a camp fest and grinding till the end. I did bring up a suggestion that I think Respawn should really consider it making so that when you are in a four-man squad, you can only pick one legend from each class, I think that would be a pretty good idea. I'm sure someone in the comment section can come up with an equally good idea or some other variable options. But regardless, I do think quads mode is going to be a welcome addition to Apex Legends as long as cheaters don't take it too far. And that's actually what we're going to talk about today because I was just informed about this the other day and it actually involves hideouts, the guy that is in charge of the anti-cheat team or at least the public figure of it for respawn on Twitter. Now, someone the other day complained about teams nine manning in Apex Legends. It went fairly viral with about 167 likes, 16,000 views, and Connor Ford Hideouts personally responded on June 20th saying banned and RP removed of the person that was being accused of cheating slash nine manning. Now I'm not gonna lie, nine manning this season has been far worse than it has ever been in the history of Apex Legends. And I mean, we've had some pretty bad seasons. I'm really hoping that they have some plans for this in the future because what ended up happening with this ban accusation is the absolute worst way this could have been handled. Because the person accused of nine Manning by that original poster that hideouts banned actually went ahead and tweeted out saying I've been falsely banned on console for supposedly nine manning inside of a ranked game I was streaming the game on twitch he even put up the entire timestamp asked to be unbanned by hideouts and even included the entire VOD there not only that the person that originally accused the person of nine manning said yo you should check this out respawn hideouts might be noteworthy the others in the video though were definitely cheating this is pretty actually huge because it shows that even the person making the accusation admitted fault here that the person accused of being a cheater was not whatsoever yet hideouts and the anti-cheat team went ahead and just banned him without doing any kind of investigation despite the fact that if he had looked up the username it's possible he could have gotten an entire VOD of the situation this is incredibly irresponsible to go ahead and just ban players based off of a random Twitter accusation without doing that investigation because this user could have spent hundreds of dollars on his account. And this isn't the first time stuff like this has been happening. Literally a month ago, there was a player that posted on Reddit saying, EA seems to have suspended accounts solely based on reports and influences without conducting proper investigations. This is from a Korean Apex Legends player who said that when he was playing against Fade and he actually ended up killing Fade, Fade got upset and then may have actually led to his account getting banned. And this is a pretty big issue because like I said, players are spending money on these accounts and to be falsely banned because someone makes an accusation and throws it up on Twitter and then to have hideouts respond without once again doing a full investigation is an absolute abuse of power and just doing a very bad and just not doing your job very well. And there's other issues too. Like for instance, Pink Panda, which I covered a week ago, was banned from Apex Legends and he received an email from EA saying that they had done a full investigation, direct quoted in the image, we have performed all investigations possible on this issue and will not reverse the decision. So they clearly thought that he had been cheating. They said they did a full investigation. Well, guess what? Panda's ban was actually overturned. He posted it on June 15th, respawn in it and play Apex had actually overturned it over EA. So what the heck is exactly going on with Apex Legends right now? Because players are getting falsely banned left and right. Teams aren't doing full actual investigations on these bans. And yet cheaters are running around in season 21 way worse than ever before. In fact, there are entire forums complaining about how the cheating is out of hand in season 21, yet somehow these people are sliding through the cracks and innocent players are getting caught in the crossfire and no one seems to actually be doing the thorough investigation on this. Supposedly, there was supposed to be a new anti-cheat coming in for season 21 as reported by Siddharth Rati on May 7th. I'm sure this had something to do with the huge hack that happened with Destroyer 2009 when he was literally able to hack into Imperial Howl and Jen Burton's computers and Apex accounts
announced while they were streaming in ALGS for the regional finals. The cheating alone is one of the worst things that's been going on in Apex Legends this season. But I am thoroughly disappointed, and I'm sure a lot of members of the community are as well, about the fact that how the cheating is being handled and the false bans that players are receiving. It's no wonder the player base is falling off because if you get falsely banned, why would you continue to support the game and play it? You're not gonna create a new account and do that because it's likely that you can just get banned again because no one bothered to actually fact check it. Let me know down below. What are your guys' thoughts on the new quads mode coming in? Do you think it will be a little bit broken and people will exploit it? Or do you think that it will be perfectly balanced and fine? And how do you feel about the anti-cheat going on in Apex Legends right now? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends and other types of content. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.